Welcome back to the Nissan Nismo Insider. I'm Alicia Kelly, and today we're going to have a look at Nissan Motorsports Visual Industries Department, otherwise known as the Sticker Shop. When sponsors sign on to any V8 supercar team, it's their logo on the sides of the cars and the trucks that they really want to see. And it's here that the designs are conceived and printed to create what you see at the track and on your TVs. I'm here with the head of the Visual Industries Department of Nissan Motorsport, Andrew Turnbull. Andrew, talk us through the process of receiving the designs and then putting them on the car. Okay, so we, we get off with a um, general brief from our title sponsors, either Norton or Jack Daniels. They'll give us an overview of what they would like to see on the car and their initial ideas. From there, we'll uh, put together a few mental ideas, take a lot of photos of the car and put them into Photoshop so we can have a, a basic overlay of the car. Uh, we'll then put um, our first initial ideas to pen and paper, really and come up with some things that we can send them to show them what we what we reckon would look good. From there we then get a what's called paper app tape and go over the whole car and pencil in the car so we can scan that into the computer and make a proper 3D model. We then redraw our final idea into the final print copy of the design. Um, and from there it's a matter of pressing print, laminating, cutting out and going to stick on the car. Sticking on generally takes about a day or so. Design can take anywhere up to a month. And it's not just the cars that you're stickering, is it? What else do you look after? Certainly not. We do the four cars plus the two transporters, so that's A and B trailer, as well as some uh, detail graphics on the Prime Mover itself. Each truck takes about 120 metres of vinyl. It takes about two days to print and about three or four to put it all on. V8 supercar sticker guys are not to be messed with. Their tools are very straightforward, but they're also quite dangerous. You've got applicators, a very sharp knife, Prepsol that's not to be confused with water, and this bad boy, which is my favorite tool of the trade. And applying stickers to the car, it's not a flat surface, so do you have a process that you go through to actually make the sticker fit properly on the car? Yeah, we do. The vinyl itself is really, really cool. It's heat sensitive and pressure sensitive. So when it comes out, obviously it's in a flat sheet. We'll then line it up on the car uh, using tape and pencils and rulers and whatnot. Um, and then we'll get the corners tacked on and apply heat. Now the heat makes it shrink but also become very malleable so you can stretch it around to what you need and then you run over it with our little plastic applicators uh, and it won't actually stick to the surface until you've run over it so it'll slide along and move where you want it to basically and, and once you've run over it it sticks quite nicely. And does the sticker add much weight to the car? Yeah, um, it's, it's heavier than paint. It weighs about eight kilos over the whole car. Did you used to cover your own books in high school with contact? <laughs> yeah, books, go-karts, the whole lot of it. Everything was always done up nice and, nice and pretty. For more information on Nissan Motorsport, head to our website. And to catch up on past episodes of the Nismo Insider, click here now.